Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Chris for Chris's Treasure Chest. Uh, just out doing a few errands with Camera Girl One, and I wanted to share with you guys uh, today what I found this week in my travels. Uh, we're gonna head back to the house and lay everything out, and uh, we'll take you through all the treasures I found. Uh, some unique stuff. Uh, two, I've discovered two other Christmas brands that sell very well on eBay. I'm gonna share that with you. Uh, some vintage electronics from the 70s, which I love to find. Uh, a few other surprises that I picked up. Stuff that was out of my element that I just kind of searched when I was at the thrift store and found it was worth some money. Uh, but stay along for the ride. Stay till the end. And uh, I'll show you a real cool thing I found that I really can't believe it was in a thrift store and how it ended up there. But anyways, that's the last thing I'll show you. So let's get it to the house. We'll get all set up and uh, we'll continue this video in there. Okay guys, we're back at the house and I've got everything laid out like I usually do. I'm really excited to show you guys what I found this week. Um, some unique things, some things I'm surprised that are worth money. And like I said, two, uh, just, I uh, discovered two other companies that sell Christmas items that are worth money. I'm gonna show you those two. Uh, and let's just go in no particular order. Stay till the end. I've got this one weird thing that I found um, and I want to show you. I couldn't believe I found it in the thrift store, like I said, in the truck. All right, let's go. No particular order. Um, I found this. This is the Diablo 2 battle chest. If you guys can see that. Let me try to hold it up. There you go. Um, this is the complete game. It's missing one disc. I got like five bucks into it, guys. Um, I've been watching a few YouTubers out there, resellers, and they're selling old software like this for good money. I think I'm gonna get about 30 bucks. Not a big, big money maker, but again, something to flip and make some money on. Now, I bought, these were $2.99, and I had a coupon. These are billiard balls. I bought six bags two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe twelve balls in each bag. Uh, I don't know how old they are, but what attracted me to the bags is each one has one of these. The camera can pick it up. I'm going to try to hide my head face here. And what these are, these are Snooker Champion training balls. You guys can see that. And these, these white balls sell for 39, 40 bucks around there. So maybe being used 29.99 and I've got six of these. So I did okay in this bundle. And what I'll think I'll do is I'll bundle up the other balls, like match up the stripes and the solids and make a set out of them and try to sell them locally because it's quite heavy to ship. So, but this here alone will pay for that whole lot. So look out for these Snooker Championship training balls, guy. guys. Real nice find there. This is really cool. Um, this is a company called, I'm gonna show this to you, this is a company called Sia in California. Like, not like Sia, like a C-Y-A in California. Uh, they make miniature surfboards. This is handmade. I got five bucks into it. And if you guys do a search, you'll be surprised how much they sell. I don't know if they surf with these because it looks like on their website they do surf with these. Um, this is La Joyla, Joyla, I guess, Joyla, California. Very nice. And these can sell up to 50 bucks. So this was a surprise find for me. Um, I found this late in the day where they keep all the wooden boxes and whatnot. So keep an eye out for Sia in California surfboards, guys. So let's put down this. Now another great find I got, and I found four of these. Four of these I paid $4.99. Right here, you can see what I paid. And these I call consumables. This is a Teledyne Water Pick Air Cleaner Filter. AFX 20C. Believe it or not, these sell for about $40 on eBay. And I got three of them factory sealed. So very, very cool. Really like that a lot. It's gonna do okay there. Um, Found this brand new sealed in the box, a Lego set 40410. This is a Charles Dickens The Christmas Carol. Uh, and it's got a little box damage. I got $5.99 into it. 
I found it with all the Christmas stuff at the Value Village. Uh, 49 to $59. Uh, so I should do well on that. Um, I don't know if I ever showed these before to you guys. I saw YouTubers selling these, so I started picking them up. This is a little Playmates cooler. They make different colors. This is with the purple writing, yellow handle. Um, I got so much I got into them. Depending on the color, they sell up to 39 bucks. So nice and easy to ship, nice and light in a box, and away it goes. So keep an eye out for these little Playmate coolers. You might hear one of the items going off shortly on what I uh, what I was going to show you guys. Okay, this is a brand I'm surprised about, and this is not made in China. This is made in Hong Kong. This is called World. If you guys can see that, World Peacekeepers Police Officers, and this is the one uh, police patrol or patrol officer. I think it's called. Look at the deal. It comes with the, the German Shepherd. There's three different ones in this series. If you guys can see it. I got five bucks into it, and I looked these up. They sell for up to $100, guys. Only problem with this box, we got a little bit of damage down by here, but I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker. But look out for this brand, World World Peacekeeper. There it is right there. All right, I'm just going to try to make some room here for everything. Uh, parts and repair, guys. You know how I've been doing that series, and I've been showing you, I've been picking up laptops, radios, boom boxes, everything. Here's my my new one. I am trying and flipping Apple MacBooks. Uh, this one here is an i5 uh, from around 2015 MacBook Pro. Yeah, MacBook Pro i5, that's right. And uh, I checked the serial number. You can go online, guys, and use the serial number, and it'll check. You can check it. It tells you exactly what's in here. I don't have the charger. I don't have anything with it. It was uh, 79 bucks, less 20%. Oh, actually, I think I picked it up. I think I got 30 off on this one. Um, and I've got it listed. These sell for about 200 to $249 for just parts and repair. So this is my next experiment, and I'll let you know how this works. There you go. You hear that, guys? You're going to see that in a minute. Um, this is Zotac ZBook. This is actually a PC that you build yourself. And it comes basically, I'll show you, looks like this. And it doesn't have any memory, doesn't have a hard drive. It does have, I think it's an Atom processor in it, but it comes complete with cord and everything. I've got $6.99 into it, and these, these sell up to $69 to $79. Some people do beef them up and sell them complete for over $100. But again, somebody's going to buy it to build a PC, which I thought was really, really nice. All right, let's put that there. I'll show you the two Christmas things in a minute, and then the two vintage uh, electronics. This I found. I love this. I, when I saw this, I started laughing. This is a Motormaster simulated sheepskin cover this is late 70s early 80s guys new old stock it is for two bucket seats so if you think back somebody that's got, that's restoring one of these old vans those old va custom vans and they're looking for this nostalgia or to kind of keep it to the the vintage age of the v restoring the vehicle I got $5 into this. This is brand new, never used. Somebody must have had it in their closet. And I looked these up and they can sell over $100. Uh, the original price tag was on here for $24.99 way back when. So I'll let you know how I make out on this, guys. Um, I did sell at one time. I found a, uh, an old Jensen, I think it was, uh, car radio. And it was old stock from the 70s. And it was still in the box, brand new sealed. I bought it for five bucks, I think, back. I bought it at a Salvation Army. And I got close to, I mean, I think I got almost over $200 for it. So this does sell movie prop companies, maybe. Well, you know, places like that. So really like this item. All right. So now here's the two Christmas items I was telling you about. Um, the first brand you're going to look for. And I didn't know about this. And Camera Girl 1 did know about this company. And it's Kurt... Kurt S. Alder, and they have a whole line of Christmas, Christmas things. 
And this is the North Pole Express. It's a train that kind of rotates around and flips around. I got this for six bucks. Um, this is this is not one of the big money makers from this line. I'm gonna probably get forty nine dollars for it. It's in mint condition. I think it is two thousand. So it's it's pretty old and fully working. Amazing, amazing uh, that it works still in great shape. The next one here is Lex Len. Lamax, Lamax, I think it is called. Lamax, sorry. Just looking at it. This is the Essex Street facade, Christmas Lane. Now, this is pre owned. This is from 2010. So, 11 years old. You can either hang it on your wall, it all lights up. I tested it. I got 20 bucks into it. It was in the showcase. It's in great, great condition. This particular one, the sold comps I saw. 159 to 179 so look for this Lamax brand very cool guys all right next thing I want to show you is two items one's vintage and well you know what I'm gonna do this one next so this was late on a Sunday and I've shown this on my buddy Scotty's channel on his live stream picking through the junk uh, he does a live video guys if you guys want to jump in I'm, I'm on there most of the time on Sundays at 8 o'clock I showed this um, on his channel. This was in the showcase late on a Sunday, right here. And you heard the thing chime off. Um, I paid $11 for it. And it is a Howard Miller, full German movement. I haven't listed it yet because Camera Girl won and I really are enjoying having this thing around. Um, this one probably 400, three to $400 I'm gonna list it for solid. Solid wood, gorgeous, gorgeous clock, guys. Uh, Winchester chimes, fully wound up, wind up clock. Uh, but that was a score that day to find that thing. I don't know if I'm going to sell it yet. Like I said, we're really enjoying it. Okay, now two more items, and we're done. So here is I picked these up the other day. These are vintage made in Japan Sony bookshelf speakers. So I got a pair. So you either can put them on the bookshelf. Or hang them now I had to look this model up and this is the Sony SSS sorry Sony SS 170A uh, they work amazing I hooked them up to a stereo and um, like I said I got there I paid 19 bucks for them um, I'm gonna probably I think I have them on right now for $29.99 they sell for one 120 to 180 so nice flip there on a vintage set of speakers now here's the weird and crazy item um like i said i show i think i showed this in scotty's channel too so sorry if, if you do you guys saw this already but this is a pharmacist scale to weigh out medicine or even a hospital and the company's called torsan let me just get my glasses here torsan balance and um i don't know how to calibrate it i don't know how to how it operates but it was like I think 10 bucks on the shelf and I grabbed it and I'm selling it. it it's from actually I just noticed this it is from the Freeport Hospital wherever that is um, I'm gonna sell it as is I, you know even if it's working or not working somebody might pick it up to put on their mantle that is a retired pharmacist or a doctor and they just want to collect old scales like that so I thought that was really really cool guys all right guys we're done I hope you enjoyed it I had a great time finding these items. Give me some comments down below if you found any of these and have sold them and whatever your thoughts are. Um, Got to do some listing today. And again, today is Sunday, so I will be live on Scotty's channel at 8 o'clock Eastern tonight. If you guys want to jump on, we talk about everything thrifting, reselling, buying, and whatever else we talk about. But uh, come on on. We're about an hour and a half. So, all right, guys, until next time, it's Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. We'll talk to you later.